Glossary of Psychiatry, Wikipedia Audio This glossary covers terms found in the psychiatric literature, the word origins are primarily Greek, but there are also Latin, French, German, and English terms. Many of these terms refer to expressions dating from the early days of psychiatry in Croatia. Abra action is a process of vividly reliving repressed memories and emotions related to a past event. Sigmund Freud used hypnosis to rid their patients of pathological memories through Abra action. Abulia or abulia, in neurology, refers to a lack of will or initiative. The patient is unable to act or make decisions independently. It may range from subtle to overwhelming in severity. Contents Acquired agnosia for color This term includes color blindness. Illusions associated with or based on changes with mood, for example, at midnight a person may take a shadow as a ghost, but in the early part of night this may not be the case. Akataphasia refers to disorder of thought expression in speech and results due to dissolution of logical ordering of trains of thought. Akathesia refers to a subjective feeling of restlessness in the lower limbs that is related to abnormal activity in the extrapyramidal system in the brain, often due to antipsychotic medication. It tends to manifest as an inability to sit still. Alexithymia refers to an inability to identify and describe emotions in the self. In Alice in Wonderland experience, individuals perceive objects as appearing substantially smaller than in reality. Generally, the object appears far away or extremely close at the same time. Alternate term for this is soma aesthetic aura. Also see number Lilliputian hallucinations. Alliteration is the repetition of initial consonant sounds in neighboring words. For example, when I struck and slapped my humble horse, he began to run rapidly. Literally, this term means not having words. The term may refer to either poverty of speech or poverty of thought. In the former, Speech, though adequate in verbiage, conveys very little information and may consist of stock phrases or vague references. In poverty of thought, by contrast, there is a far-reaching impoverishment of the entire thinking of the patient, who, as a result, says very little. It is typically a negative symptom of schizophrenia, although it may also be seen in advanced dementia. The phrase running amok describes the behavior of an individual, who is very agitated and can become a danger to others and himself. The syndrome of amok is found in the DSM-4TR. A. Anhedonia refers to an inability to experience pleasure, and may be described as a feeling of emotional emptiness. It can be a negative symptom of schizophrenia. It also may be seen in severe depressive states and schizoid personality disorder. Anosognosia is a condition in which a person who suffers certain disability seems unaware of the existence of his or her disability. Hemiosomatognosia is a subtype of anosognosia in which the person suffering from hemiplegia neglects one half of his body. Anton syndrome occasionally known as Anton Babinski syndrome, is a form of cortical blindness in which the patient denies the visual impairment. The patient may attempt to walk, bumping into objects and injuring himself. Anton syndrome is caused by damaging the occipital lobes bilaterally or from disrupting the pathway from the primary visual cortex into the visual association cortex. Anwesenheit refers to the feeling of presence of something or some person. It can be seen in normal grief reaction, schizophrenia, and some emotionally arousing situations. 
This is an alternate term for delusional perception. It is one of the Schneiderian first rank symptoms and is defined as a true perception, to which a patient attributes a false meaning. For example, a person may see written no trespassing on a board and may infer from this that intelligence agencies are spying on him. Aphemia is the alternate term for mutism. Mutism is absence of speech with apparently normal level of consciousness. Mutism can be dissociative in which an individual stops speaking at once without involvement of any neurological or physical contributing factor, or it can be elective in which a child does not speak at all in certain situations but speaks well in other conditions. A rare cause of mutism is akinetic mutism which results due to a lesion around third ventricle of brain. Apperception is a normal phenomenon and refers to the ability to understand sensory inputs in their context, to interpret them and to incorporate them into experience. Failure of apperception is seen in delirious states. Abraaction Abulia Astasia obasia is a form of psychogenic gait disturbance in which gait becomes impaired in the absence of any neurological or physical pathology. The person usually walks in a bizarre manner. He staggers and appears as if going to fall but always manages to catch hold of something in time. Sometimes these people cannot even stand but on the other hand they are well able to move their legs while lying down or sitting often associated with conversion disorder or somatization disorder. Achromatopsia Affect illusion Acataphasia Akathesia Alexithymia Alternate term for loosening of association A milder form of derailment of thought it is marked by the patient leaping from topic to topic which have only the most tenuous, if any, connection with each other. This is in contrast with flight of ideas, whereby the patient's successive ideas may be linked and understandable to the listener. See also number and glycine term introduced by From AUT equals self and, ism equals state or orientation. Originally, Eugen Bleuler used this term to describe schizophrenia. In general, it refers to any tendency to be self-absorbed to such a degree that the feelings, thoughts and desires of a person are governed by his internal apprehension of the world and not by an external reality shared with others. Today the term is used most often to refer to a specific developmental syndrome, P76. Alice in Wonderland Experience Autistic thinking is a term used to refer to thinking not in accordance with consensus reality that emphasizes preoccupation with inner experience. See also number deristic thinking. More generally, it means thinking that is guided by internal wishes and desires regardless of external real-world factors, p76. Jaspers defined this as a delusion arising without apparent cause. For example, suddenly, without apparent cause, having the delusional belief that you are an alien. Autocabalesis is a term for committing suicide by jumping from a very high place. Automatic obedience is an exaggerated cooperation with an examiner's request as if the patient were an automaton robotically obeying a command. It is usually a sign of catatonia. Automatisms are sequences of activity that occur without conscious control. They may be simple and repetitive or complex, and are usually natural-looking but purposeless, for example, repeatedly going through the motions of buttering a piece of bread when there is no bread there. Automatic behavior is not usually recalled afterwards. Autoscopy is the reduplicative hallucination of seeing one's own body at a distance and the person sees it from the place where he or she is located. 
Autoscopy is sometimes used synonymously with out-of-body experience. Evolution is an inability to initiate and complete goal-directed behavior. It can sometimes be misinterpreted as laziness, but it is actually a negative symptom of schizophrenia. Alliteration Bell indifference or law bell indifa copyright rents is characterized by a lack of concern and slash or feeling of indifference about a disability or symptom. It can be seen in conversion disorder. Buffa copyright eda copyright lirant is a French term used in the past for acute and transient psychotic disorders. In DSM-4, it is described as brief psychotic disorder. The symptoms usually have an acute onset and reach their peak within two weeks. The symptoms start resolving in a few weeks and complete recovery usually occurs within 2 a euro 3 months. Alogia Brain fag syndrome is an example of a culture-bound syndrome. Brain fag was once a common term for mental exhaustion. Today, the syndrome describes students experiencing symptoms including somatic, sleep-related, and cognitive complaints head and neck pains, difficulty in concentrating and retaining information, and eye pain. Brain fog is another term for number clouding of consciousness. Amug Anhedonia Anosognosia Bruxism refers to teeth grinding behavior that is usually seen in children. In Capgras syndrome, the patient feels that a person familiar to him, usually a family member has been replaced by an imposter. This is a type of delusion that can be experienced as part of schizophrenia. Capgras syndrome and several other related disorders are referred to as delusional misidentification syndrome. Catalepsy is the term for catatonic rigidity of the limbs which often results in abnormal posturing for long intervals. Cataplexy involves a sudden loss of muscle tone, and is generally precipitated by a sudden emotional response. Catatonia involves a significant psychomotor disturbance, which can occur as catalepsy, stupor. Excessive purposeless motor activity, extreme negativism, mutism, echolalia, or echopraxia. There is a catatonic subtype of schizophrenia. Syria flexibilitas, meaning waxy flexibility, refers to people allowing themselves to be placed in postures by others, and then maintaining those postures for long periods even if they are obviously uncomfortable. It is characterized by a patient's movements having the feeling of a plastic resistance, as if the person were made of wax. This occurs in catatonic schizophrenia, and a person suffering from this condition can have his limbs placed in fixed positions as if the person were in fact made from wax. Chorea is manifest by abnormal involuntary movements. The term comes from Greek word chorea as meaning dance, since large groups of muscles are usually involved, which leads to writhing dance-like movements. Circumstantial thinking, or circumstantial speech, refers to a person being unable to answer a question without giving excessive, unnecessary detail. This differs from tangential thinking in that the person does eventually return to the original point, circling back on topic. Clang associations are ideas that are related only by similar or rhyming sounds rather than actual meaning. Example, he ate the skate, inflated yesterday's gate toward the cheese grater. Clapperhead's paradox refers to retention of nonverbal and implicit memory in sufferers of Korsakoff's syndrome. Clouding of consciousness, also known as brain fog or mental fog, is a global impairment in higher central nervous functioning. All aspects of cognitive functioning are affected. 
On mental status examination it is manifest by disorientation in time, place, and person, memory difficulties caused by failure to register and recall, aphasia, and agnosia. Impaired perception functioning leads to illusions and hallucinations often in the visual sensory modality. This then causes agitation and distress and secondary delusions. The term confusion state is sometimes used to mean clouding of consciousness, but should be avoided if at all possible because it is ambiguous. A patient in a synestopathic state has a localized distortion of body awareness. Confabulation is the confusion of imagination with memory, and slash or the confusion of true memories with false memories. Conversion disorder involves the unintentional production of symptoms or deficits affecting motor or sensory function that are not fully explained by a neurological or medical condition. This can manifest as paralysis, for example. It generally involves psychological factors, and symptoms may worsen in the context of situational conflict. Coprolalia is the involuntary utterance of socially inappropriate phrases. It is a phonic tick associated with Tourette syndrome, although less than 15% of persons with Tourette's have coprolalia. Cotard delusion involves the belief that one of the person's own bodily organs has changed in a bizarre way, has ceased functioning, or has disappeared. It is a type of delusion that can be experienced in schizophrenia. Literally jumping out of window. Usually used in context of attempted or completed suicide. Also see number autocabalesis. In the copyright JAVU, a person feels undue familiarity to an event or a person. For example, he feels that the same thing has happened before or he or she has met this person before, etc. Inda copyright J.A. Pensa copyright, a completely new thought sounds familiar to the person and he feels as he has thought the same thing before at some time. This feeling can be caused by seizures which occur in certain parts of the temporal lobe and possibly other areas of the brain as well. Dementia precox refers to a chronic, deteriorating psychotic disorder characterized by rapid cognitive disintegration, usually beginning in the late teens or early adulthood. Dementia pugilistica, also called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, pugilistic Parkinson's syndrome, boxer's syndrome, and punch-drunk syndrome is a neurological disorder which affects career boxers and others who receive multiple dazing blows to the head. The condition develops over a period of years, with the average time of onset being about 16 years after the start of a career in boxing. Derailment, also known as loosening of associations, refers to disorganized thinking that jumps between ideas that seem entirely unrelated. It can be seen in patients with schizophrenia, as well as those experiencing mania. Deristic means, away from reality, undirected fantasy thinking. Jung wrote a Euroethes is the basic activity of psychic life, this fantasy making, and he used the term a Euro or image a Euro not from after image, something you a Euro trademark ve experienced or seen but he says he takes it from poetic usage. Deristic thinking, an old descriptive term used to refer to thinking not in accordance with the facts of reality and experience and following illogical, idiosyncratic reasoning. This term is also used interchangeably with autistic thinking though they are not exact synonyms. Deristic emphasizes disconnection from reality and autistic emphasizes preoccupation with inner experience. Alternate term for organic hallucinosis and delusional parasitosis, the continuous belief on the part of the patient that their skin or body has been infested by parasites or insects.
This state cannot be diagnosed if the hallucinatory state is produced while the patient is under the influence of drugs or alcohol, or if the patient fulfills the criterion for delirium. In general, if a patient is under the influence of a drug, or experiencing the symptoms of withdrawal from that drug, this condition is not psychiatric but medical, and termed formication. In DAT syndrome there is a complaint of premature ejaculation or impotence and a belief that semen is being passed in the urine. The Doppelga anger is a phenomenon in which the person feels that his exact a euro e w euro is present alongside him every time and goes with him wherever he goes. In a copyright cho de la pensa copyright e, meaning thought echo in French, thoughts seem to be spoken aloud just after being produced. The patient hears the echo of his thoughts in the form of a voice after he has made the thought. See also number Gieden Ken Laut Worden and number thought sonorization. Literally means jumping off the rails. Alternate term used for derailment of thought. A Schneiderian term by origin. In this form of thought the patient jumps from one topic to another during conversation and both topics have literally no connection with each other. This is in contrast with flight of ideas where connection is present between one topic and another. Extracampine hallucinations are hallucinations beyond the possible sensory field, e.g., Seeing somebody standing behind you is a visual extracampine hallucination experience. Fantasy is imagining that expresses desires and aims. The moods of a patient with fatuous affect resemble the moods of a child. This condition is seen in hebephrenic schizophrenia. Flight of ideas describes excessive speech at a rapid rate that involves causal association between ideas. Links between ideas may involve usage of puns or rhymes. It is typical of mania, classically seen in bipolar disorder. Also called induced psychosis, folie a du is a delusional disorder shared by two or more people who are closely related emotionally. One has real psychosis while the symptoms of psychosis are induced in the other or others due to close attachment to the one with psychosis. Separation usually results in symptomatic improvement in the one who is not psychotic. Fully communique copyright e, fully impose a copyright e, fully indict, and fully simultane copyright e are the four subtypes of fully a du. Folie communique copyright E, or subtype C of folie A du, occurs when a normal person suffers a contagion of his ideas after resisting them for a long time. Once he acquires these beliefs he maintains them despite separation. Folie impose a copyright E, or subtype A of folie A du, is the most common form in which the dominant person imposes a delusion into a person who was not previously mentally ill. Separation of the two results in improvement of the non-dominant person. In folie indict, or subtype D of folie a du, a person who is already psychotic adds the delusions of a closely associated person to his own. In folie simultane copyright E, or subtype B of folie a du, a delusional system emerges simultaneously and independently in two closely related persons, and the separation of the two would not be beneficial in the resolution of psychopathology. Anton's Syndrome In Fragali delusion, the person has a delusional belief that various different people are in fact a certain other person, even if there is no physical resemblance. Fragali syndrome is considered a form of delusional misidentification in which the false identification of familiar people occurs in strangers. In Gieden Ken Laut Worden, a patient hears thoughts spoken aloud. Thoughts are heard in the form of a voice at the same time as they are thought, not afterwards. 
See also a per thousand cho de la pensa copyright e and thought sonorization. Gagan Halton is a catatonic phenomenon in which the subject opposes all passive movements with the same degree of force as applied by the examiner. It is slightly different from negativism in which the subject does exactly the opposite to what is asked in addition to showing resistance. Hemiosomatognosia is a subtype of anosognosia in which the person suffering from hemiplegia neglects one half of his body. Anwi Senheit Hyposchemachia is characterized by the reduced awareness of a patient's body image and ischemachia by the absence of it. These disorders can have many varied causes such as physical injuries, mental disorders, or mental or physical states. These include transection of the spinal cord, parietal lobe lesions, anxiety, depersonalization, epileptic auras, migraines, sensory deprivation, and vertigo. Ida copyright efix is an alternate term for an overvalued idea. In this condition, a belief that might seem reasonable both to the patient and to other people comes to dominate completely the patient's thinking and life. Apophonous Perception Thoughts that one's own body part or action is not of one's own. Thoughts that one's own action is caused by someone else's will or some other external cause. Aphemia Apperception Ideas of reference are a delusional belief that general events are personally directed at oneself. For example, Someone might believe that he or she is receiving messages from the TV that are directed especially at him or her. An illusion is a false perception of a detectable stimulus. Jargon aphasia is characterized by incoherent, meaningless speech with neologisms. These are unconscious thoughts that find expression when one is off one's guard and must be consciously repressed. Astasia obasia. Asyndesis. Autism. Autistic thinking. Autochthonous delusion. Autocabalesis. Automatic obedience. Automatism. Autoscopy. Evolution. B. Bell indifference. Bufa copyright e de copyright lirant. Brain fag syndrome. Brain fog. Bruxism. In KLA 1 fourth vera euro busy syndrome, a patient will display placidity, hyperality, hypersexuality, and hyperphagia. This condition results from bilateral destruction of the amygdaloid bodies of the limbic system. Knight's move thinking is a complete loosening of associations where there is no logical link between one idea and the next. Imagine a knight on a chessboard where the movement can be any L-shaped direction, making it difficult to track. Koro is a culture-specific syndrome usually seen in Chinese people. It involves a panicked feeling that one's genitals are retracting into the abdomen, and that this will result in death. Kuru was first noted in New Guinea in the early 1900s. Kuru is now known to be a prion disease, one of several known transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. Lada is a culture-specific syndrome usually seen in Southeast Asia and involves startle-induced disorganization, hypersuggestibility, automatic obedience, and echopraxia. It is usually associated with women. There is controversy over whether Lada is a real psychiatric condition, or merely a display of exhibitionism that would otherwise not be socially acceptable. In La Homme qui rit, meaning the man who laughs in French, a patient displays inappropriate laughter accompanied by release phenomena of the frontal subdominant lobe. 
Lilliputian hallucinations are characterized by abnormal perception of objects as being shrunken in size but normal in detail. Usually seen in delirium tremens. In logoclonia, the patient often repeats the last syllable of a word. Symptom of Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. C. Logoria, also known as volubility is characterized by a patient's fluent and rambling speech using numerous words. Mania apotu is an alcohol intoxication state with violent and markedly disinhibited behavior. This condition is different from violent behavior in otherwise normal individuals who are intoxicated. Mitgahan is an extreme form of mitmakan in which very slight pressure leads to movement in any direction, also called the angle poise effect or angle poise lamp sign. This is done despite instructions that the patient resist the pressure, as the patient often views the slight pressure as forcibly grasping and moving the patient. Capgras syndrome or illusion de soces. In Mitmakan, the patient's body can be put into any posture, despite instructions given that the patient resist. Moria is the condition characterized by euphoric behavior, such as frivolity and the inability to act seriously. In addition, there is a lack of foresight and a general indifference. It is found in frontal lobe lesions, often along with witzel suched, particularly when the orbital surface is damaged. Recent research has shown its presence in frontotemporal dementia. Catalepsy Negativism is found if, on examination, a patient resists attempts to move him and does opposite to what is asked. It is usually a sign of catatonia. It may progress to rigidity. It is slightly different from Gagan-Halton, in which the patient resists movement but does not perform the opposite movement. Also see Oppositional Defiance Disorder The omega sign is the occurrence of a fold in the forehead, above the nose, produced by the excessive action of the corrugator muscle. It is sometimes seen in depression. Cataplexy From Greek oniros as meaning dream. In the oniroid state one feels and behaves as though in a dream. Also known as onirophrenia as described by Lottie SLA's J. Maduna. See number oniroid state or article on onirophrenia. Palalalia is characterized by the repetition of a word or phrase, i.e., the subject continues to repeat a word or phrase after once having said. It is a perseveratory phenomenon. Palinocusis refers to a phenomenon in which the subject continues to listen to a word, a syllable, or any sound, even after the withdrawal of stimulus. It is a type of number perseveration. Catatonia In palinopsia a visual image persists after the stimulus has gone. A Freudian slip, or parapraxis, is an error in speech, memory, or physical action that is believed to be caused by the unconscious mind. Syria flexibilitas A delusion in which a person believes he or she has seen a face transform into a grotesque form, often described as a monster, vampire, werewolf, or similar. This is very rare and most likely to be described by people suffering from schizophrenia. Korea. Paraschemachia is characterized by a distortion of a patient's body image. It can be caused by hallucinogenic drugs such as LSD and mescaline, epileptic auras, and sometimes migraines. Circumstantial speech. In pareidolia a vague or random stimulus is mistakenly perceived as recognizable. A common example is perceiving the image of a face in clouds. Pareidolia is a type of illusion and hence called pareidolic illusion. 
Clang Association Clapperhead's Paradox Clouding of Consciousness Synestopathic State This term refers to uncontrollable repetition of a particular response, such as a word, phrase, or gesture, despite the absence or cessation of the original stimulus. Usually it is seen in organic disorders of brain, head injury, delirium, or dementia, however can be seen in schizophrenia as well. Confabulation This refers to schizophrenia in people with mild learning disability. Conversion disorder Coprolalia Cotard delusion D Defenestration De copyright JAVU De copyright JA Pensa copyright Dementia precox Dementia pugilistica P. blocto, P. block talk, or arctic hysteria is a condition exclusively appearing in Inuit societies living within the Arctic Circle. Appearing most prevalently in winter, it is considered to be a form of a culture-specific disorder. Symptoms can include intense hysteria, depression, coprophagia, and insensitivity to extreme cold. This condition is most often seen in Inuit women. Pseudologia fantastica is a condition in which a person grossly exaggerates his symptoms or even tells a lie about his symptoms in order to get medical attention. Seen in malingering and Munchausen syndrome. Derailment Where the individual holds his slash her head a few centimeters above the bed. No explanation is offered for this. It is a symptom of catatonia and can last for many hours. Psychopathology is a term which refers to either the study of mental illness or mental distress or to the manifestation of behaviors and experiences which may be indicative of mental illness or psychological impairment. Deristic thinking This syndrome is characterized by rapid rhythmic movements of lips so that it resembles a rabbit chewing. It is a type of dystonic reaction. In reduplicative hallucinations there is the perception of seeing a double. Particular kinds of reduplicative hallucination include autoscopy, hedotoscopy, and out-of-body experiences. Reduplicative paramnesia is a delusional misidentification syndrome in which the patient's surroundings are believed to exist in more than one physical location. Dermatozen 1 Reflex hallucinations occur when true sensory input in one sense leads to production of a hallucination in another sense, e.g. seeing a doctor writing and then feeling him writing across Oni Euro trademark S stomach. Restlessness has two components, akathisia and psychomotor agitation. Mental retardation is a term used when a person has certain limitations in mental functioning and in skills such as communicating, taking care of him or herself, and social skills. Debt In children, these limitations will cause a child to learn and develop more slowly than a typical child. Children with mental retardation may take longer to learn to speak, walk, and take care of their personal needs such as dressing or eating. They are likely to have trouble learning in school. They will learn, but it will take them longer. There may be some things they cannot learn. Doppelganger Left a euro right disorientation is one of the four cardinal signs of Gerstmann's syndrome. Scanning speech is an ataxic dysarthria in which syllable durations are equalized. It is characteristic of the dysarthria of multiple sclerosis. Together with nystagmus and intention tremor it forms Charcot's triad 1. E. A per thousand cho de la pensa copyright E. Antglyzen. Extracampine. 
f. Schizophagia, commonly referred to as word salad, is confused, and often repetitious, language that is symptomatic of various mental illnesses. A schnoz cramp is a grimace resembling pouting sometimes observed in catatonic patients. Sensitive or busy hungswan, is an alternate term for ideas of reference. In this the person thinks as people are talking about him or observing him or a talk is going on about him on television or radio. Seen in social phobia, depression, delusional disorder, and in schizophrenia where they are often present up to a delusional extent. The Stockholm Syndrome is a psychological response sometimes seen in a hostage, in which the hostage exhibits loyalty to the hostage taker, in spite of the danger in which the hostage has been placed. Stockholm Syndrome is also sometimes discussed in reference to other situations with similar tensions, such as battered person syndrome, child abuse cases, and bride kidnapping. From the Greek sin meaning union and esthesia meaning sensation, is a neurological phenomenon in which two or more bodily senses are coupled. For instance, a person may hear colors. In telegraphic speech conjunctions and articles are missed out, meaning is retained and few words are used. Thought blocking, also referred to as thought withdrawal, refers to an abrupt stop in the middle of a train of thought, the individual might or might not be unable to continue the idea. This is type of formal thought disorder that can be seen in schizophrenia. A combined term for number Gieden Ken Laut Worden and number A per thousand Cho de la Pensa copyright E. Torpor in psychopathology is usually taken to mean profound inactivity not caused by reduction in consciousness. Traumatic bonding occurs as the result of ongoing cycles of abuse in which the intermittent reinforcement of reward and punishment creates powerful emotional bonds that are resistant to change. Trichotillomania also known as hair pulling disorder, is an impulse control disorder characterized by a long-term urge that results in the pulling out of one's hair. This occurs to such a degree that hair loss can be seen. Efforts to stop pulling hair typically fail. Hair removal may occur anywhere, however, the head and around the eyes are most common. The hair pulling is to such a degree that it results in distress. Verbigeration is the stereotyped repetition of words or phrases that may or may not have meaning to others. It refers to an ill-humored mood state often accompanied by low mood and depressive symptoms. The people surrounding the patient often feel upset by this. In Vorbeigen or Vorbeerden, a patient will answer a question in such a way that one can tell the patient understood the question, although the answer itself may be very obviously wrong. For example, how many legs does a dog have? 6. This condition occurs in Ganser syndrome and has been observed in prisoners awaiting trial. Vorbeigen was the original term used by Ganser but Vorbeerden is the term generally in use. This behavior is also seen in people trying to feign psychiatric disorders. Wanianfall is alternate term for autochthonous delusions. This is one of the types of primary delusions in which a firm belief comes into the patient's mind out of the blue or as an intuition, hence called delusional intuition. Other types of primary delusions include delusional mood, delusional and delusional memories. Waxy flexibility, aka number seria flexibilitas meaning is characterized by a patient's movements having the feeling of a plastic resistance, as if the person were made of wax. This occurs in catatonic schizophrenia, and a person suffering from this condition can have his limbs placed in fixed positions as if the person were in fact made from wax. Number Waxy Flexibility 
Wendigo psychosis is a culture-bound disorder which involves an intense craving for human flesh and the fear that one will turn into a cannibal. This was alleged to have occurred among Algonquian Indian cultures. Witzel such is a tendency to tell inappropriate jokes and creating excessive facetiousness and inappropriate or pointless humor. It is seen in frontal lobe disorders usually along with number moria. Recent research has shown that it may also be seen in frontotemporal dementia. Word salad is characterized by confused, and often repetitious, language with no apparent meaning or relationship attached to them. It is often symptomatic of various mental illnesses, such as psychoses, including schizophrenia. WA 1 fourth time refers to speaking in an odd muffled or strangled voice. It is mainly seen in schizophrenia. One of the paraphilias, characterized by marked distress over, or acting on, urges to indulge in sexual activity that involves animals. Fantasy Fatuous Affect Flight of Ideas Folie du Fragali delusion G. Gieden can laut worden Gagen halten H. Hemiasomatognosia Hyposchemachia, Aschemachia I. Ida copyright e fix Ideas of alienation Ideas of influence Ideas of reference Illusion J. Jargon aphasia K. KLA 1 fourth Vera Euro Busey syndrome Knights move thinking Koro Kuru L. Lada Lahome Ki Rit Lilliputian Hallucinations Logoclonia Logoria M. Mania Apotu Mitgahen Mitmakin Moria N. Negativism O. Omega Sign Oniroid state Onirophrenia P. Palilalia Palinocusis Palinopsia Parapraxis Paraprosopia Paraschemachia Pareidolia Perseveration Prop schizophreny P. Blocto Pseudologia Fantastica Psychological Pillow Psychopathology R. Rabbit Syndrome Reduplicative Hallucination Reduplicative Paramnesia Reflex Hallucination Restlessness Retardation Left a Euro right disorientation. S. Scanning speech. Schizophagia. Schnozkrampf. Sensitive or busy hungswan. Stockholm syndrome. Synesthesia. T. Telegrammatic or telegraphic speech. Thought blocking. Thought sonorization Torpor Traumatic bonding Trichotillomania V. Verbigeration Verstimung Vorbeigen, Vorbeerden W. Wanian fall Waxy flexibility Waxy rigidity 
Windigo psychosis. Witzel suched. Word salad. WA 1 fourth rix time. Z. Zoophilia.